We have can't beat that. <laughs> club soda. Club soda. <laughs> club soda. <laughs> I had to use that again. Water. And water, so there's club soda. And, and there's Sprite, and there's also Diet Coke. So okay, today right. is day three of uh, the BFF 2024 ride. And before we get started, I think we need to make sure we give some recognition to the B and the F, which is Fred and Be Betsy and Fred. Oh, Mark. They took care of dinner last night. Mm -hmm. They've done all, got all the drinks and stuff. I mean, I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> so that yeah. F part, I'm at the tail end, so I'm along for the ride. And these guys did all the work. So yeah, again, let's give them a big oh. hand. Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to do uh, a little different ride today. We're going to go this direction. This is called the Markagon Plateau, and we're going to go up over this hill. We're going to drop down in and come and across the road and go up and take a nice little ride through uh, uh, Ponderosa Pine Forest. We'll drop down across the road again, and then we're going to go over to the Panguitch Lake, and we're going to go to the dam. Then we'll go back across over the highway again, and then we're gonna to continue to go south. Uh, we'll find a spot in there and have an early lunch, because it's the only really good spot to have a lunch. We'll have an early one. Then we're gonna drop down and come back out. We're gonna, then we'll be into the lava flow fields. We're gonna actually go up on top of a cinder cone, which is really cool. Fun, fun fact about the lava fields, uh, when we were up here on our pre-ride, we ran into a... <laughs> here we go. No, <laughs> Dragonfly. Uh, no, this is... Venomous uh, lizards. A geology professor from BYU. And he was up here looking at the lava flow. Here we go. And he, he asked us, he said, uh, you want to hear something remarkable? He said, do you know what the greatest event was, volcanic event in North America? And Fred right away says, Mount St. Helen. I knew that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, Yellowstone. He said, exactly. He said, Yellowstone was the greatest volcanic event in North America, and maybe the world. And actually, some of the volcanic explosion, some of those rocks are in Panguitch. Wow. Yeah, so that's pretty amazing. Again, thanks to Paul for coming up with that last section. I thought it was gorgeous. Yeah, Even though we were all tired oh, towards the end, right it was. Yeah. Where's he at? He's right back there. Thank Even you. though we were a little tired at the end and it was a long ride, but it was a gorgeous ride and that just kind of topped the whole end of it off. So thanks again, Paul. Well, yeah. anyway. Way to go. Well, you know, this, um, we've ridden together when we're doing all these pre rides a lot, and if you'll notice, even though Fred is not Italian, just being around me, he talks with his hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Moving right along. Oh, I love it.
Fred mentioned some weird name about the penguins having something to do with butterflies. Well, that's really kind of a Fred story and it's not true. The real name is, uh, is penguin stands for, for everybody here says big fish, but I did a little research and it actually is just stands for fish. So in, in 1872, when they were settling over in Penguin State, they were very resourceful people and they were in, really big into creating uh, irrigation systems for their crops. So one of the first things they wanted to do was increase the size of this dam, so or this lake. Originally it was a natural lake, it only had 700 acres in it at one time, so it was a smaller lake. So in 1872 they built this lower portion where you can see all the rocks and the cement. And then in 1942 they came in and put that concrete, two foot concrete section that you see in there. They came in and added that to the top. That increased the leg uh, acreage from 777 all the way up to almost 1300 acres. So it increased it quite a bit. So this year during the winter, uh, I talked to a guy and he said we'd let the water out, but because we had such a, a quick runoff in April, the water came back up and then it froze and the ice on this thing was really really thick so the ice was actually pushing against that upper two feet of the concrete that you see that was added in 42 and that was causing a crack now you can see that cutout that's in there that cutout's been done since they had the incident in april i think they cut that out because that was the section that was starting to fail they decided to do after about the third day. They talked about evacuating the town. They had evacuation orders in process. Uh, they had town meetings and they were ready for this thing to go. Garcane Power, which is the main power company down here in these small towns, had a ditch witch. So they brought that up here and they started right about here and they cut all the way across there in the ice. The guys that were here could actually see the dam come back and straighten itself up once the ice, the pressure from the ice was relieved. So if this had broken, it would have gone right down in the middle, right to the middle of town and taken out a good portion of Penguin. I asked if our discount would still be in effect. 